Freaking better make it here, boys, coming to you live, and this time I remembered to press record. Do not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. Just when all hope seemed lost, message of a new message to an unknown old great <laughs> And right now we are taking this van with a semi-blowing engine up to my dad's shop. She's got no compression at all. When you put the pedal to the floor, that's what you just heard. Oh yeah, she's done, boys. She's done. <laughs> I can hear something flopping around inside the engine. Wow, that was exciting. I have a big front bumper. I need to take it off, take the grill off, take everything off so that I can chop a hole in the rod support right there, slide an engine in. Because as you can see, the engine is underneath the dash. Big, big fun. Anyhow, if you didn't know, right there, that's your mass airflow sensor. And it is the first thing to go. I'm going to remove a bunch of stuff here without showing you. All right, I don't think I've ever shown you my dad's Mustang, one of the many that he has, so I'll show you this one right here. As you can see, the fan shroud is still in place. I'm gonna take it out in one piece because the bolts are way down there, they're hard to get at. Anyhow, you can't lift it up and out without removing the fan, so I will show you how to do that right now. If you look down in there, right there you can see a great big nut. It's about one and a quarter. I use a big adjustable wrench like this and I stick it right down in there on the big fan nut. You can't really see right now, but the wrench is right there, the end of it. Then I take just another wrench like this, any size will do. I put it on the tip of the handle and then take a hammer and give it a sharp blow. Like that, and that should have freed up the fan. Oh yeah, it freed it up for sure. So now I just undo the fan like this until it falls off. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of this stuff right here. Get it out of the way and then I can lift the fan and the fan shroud out all in one piece. That's my dad, boys. Now it's time to get rid of the grill. Next, the rod comes off for the air conditioning. There should be four bolts holding it in on after you get the lines undone. Here's the front of my engine with the fan and fan shroud and rad and all that stuff removed. Anyhow, if you come down here, you can see I do have oil in my coolant, which means I have a cracked block, blown head gasket, something like that. We will find out. Next, I'm going to remove the serpentine belt so that I can remove the alternator and all that stuff. You just grab a ratchet, release the tension from the tensioner. It's pretty easy. All right, we are just humming right along here. I have, well, not quite half, but the hard part of the engine is uh, disassembled and removed. And I may actually get this engine out today. I would love to. I really have my fingers crossed that the rain keeps off, but we'll see. Anyhow, I'm gonna show you what I've done right now. 
All right, as you can see, the engine's half apart, in the front half anyway. Now I have to take the top half, or the top third, or whatever you would consider it off. Anyhow, while I'm getting to that, my dad was getting to something else, and you learn something new every day, so check this out. Installed on the battery. Yeah. Back then they weren't, so you had to buy aftermarket lifters. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you, it just yeah. popped right off. See that, folks? See the battery lifter. Yeah, that is so cool. Only I would have that kind of <laughs> shit laid around still. <laughs> now pick her up. Hey, pick her up again. I you, love it. I love it. You just walk away with your battery. You know, we carried one of these around in the 50s all the time because the batteries would go dead. And at night, you'd need new batteries. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to get your dancing clothes all gassing it up. All right. Were you ever a hubcap thief? No, but I found a few in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so all you Astro Safari van lovers who are constantly chasing down an unknown misfire problem, this is what your coil looks like. And if you're going to a wrecking yard trying to find a fairly new used coil, look for one with bolts because these were originally riveted in. Oh my God, it's hard to say originally riveted. <laughs> and as for you, buddy, that sold me the motor, I'm putting away the Marathi acid. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely everything is pretty much unbolted and out of the way. It's time for this junker of an engine to get out. Anyhow, there's been nothing exciting going on with that, just a whole lot of struggling and swearing. But my dad's over here with his new uh, Volkswagen engine. Not new, but new to him. He got this from a subscriber. I'm not sure if the subscriber wants to be named. If he does, he'll be in the videos later on. Anyhow, this is the first start. She fired right away. Uh, the carburetor isn't even together. It's <laughs> just a very gimpy start. Well. She's running. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Very cool. What a weird looking engine. Anyhow, guy that we got this from yesterday, you know who you are. We appreciate it, and we can't wait till you come down to the farm here and check some things out. Oh, I left just at the wrong second. <laughs> well, we know she's going to run. Oh, yeah. You don't need any muriatic acid for this one. <laughs> Hey? You don't need any muriatic acid for this one. Oh yeah. Yes sir. <laughs> Does it ever look weird on camera? It looks like you have a 56 Ford with a Volkswagen engine in the trunk. <laughs> That's what they call a high pinion motor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's late in the day. I thought I would have had this engine out by noon. Ha! Good luck with that. Anyhow, as you can see, she is almost out. The heads and the manifolds are finally removed. So far, uh, there's no holes in the pistons or anything like that. No sign of what might have been the problem yet, except for, for some reason, if you look right here, there's a hole and oil is just coming out of there like crazy. And this thing should not even have oil in it because the dipstick said it did not. That engine's about to be dumped out the front. It's now or never. I guess it's a great time to uh, Redo brake lines that were tucked in there, paint the firewall, clean things up like that differential. Yeah, she's going to get some work done while I can get in there. There's the engine. I have, there's the engine. There's the engine. The oil pan is off. 
and if you come over here you can see shiny oil here let me try and get the camera shadow out of the way yeah shiny oil and there's metal everywhere in there all right so i tore this engine apart hoping to show you something more spectacular than what is here she's still a roller as you can see there's no connecting rods or anything broken you can go through them that one's tight that one's tight tight a mm, little bit sloppy oh yeah there's the bad one right there one all that noise came from one I can't believe it I thought for sure they would all be done hmm that's very shocking Villains, I say to you now, knock off all that evil! <laughs>